So exercise 38, question 3, we're going to be calculating um, a strip footing from a brick wall plan. Now we've got uh, two internal corners, one there and one here. Now I'm going to start A up here this time, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Now the rules for internal corners, so for B and C we won't be adding an X factor and we won't be taking anything off there. Um, figures will stay the same. So we have to, it says draw a footing plan. Um, okay, so we need to work out our X factor first up. So it's going to be the width of the footing, 300, minus the 230. That gives us 70. And if we divide that by 2, it's going to be 35. Now, it's 35 added to the each end, but overall measurement is 70 that we are adding. Now, this is a little bit complicated, this drawing, so I'm going to do um, the footing plan here on the side, here, and just putting in our figures. Sorry, obviously not to scale. Okay, I'm going to start with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now A, so we've got A, we've got is 2.1 and we're going to add 70 to it, 70, 35 and 35. So if I'm looking at A, I'm going across there, so that's going to give me 2.17, okay? B, B I'm coming down and it's not going to change. Now I haven't got a B figure here, so I need to Add these two figures together for B and minus um, 6.67. So that's going to give me 1.83. So B is not going to have, we're not going to have anything added on B or C. Now C we're going across and we've got our figure of 1.7 there. Our D, we're going down, so we've got 6.67 and we're going to add 70. So that's going to give me a new figure of 6.74. So 6.74, 1.7, 1.83 and we said 2.17. So E, when we're adding, doing E, now we need E is that this figure, this figure and this figure added up together is 6.85 and now we have to add 70 to it. So when I add 70 for E, it's going to be 6.92. Now F, I'm going, for F I'm going up and it's 5.3 and I'm adding 70 so it's going to be 5.2. Three, seven. Now we've come to G, we're going across. Now G is 3.05, but we don't need to add the 70 because it's an internal corner. And uh, we've got H going up. So H is now out 3.2. Okay, and we're not adding anything because it's an internal corner. Now, so they're all our new measurements here, so I'm just going to put them in here. So we, we've got it for our footing plan, so our E was 6.92, our F was 5.37. This hasn't changed, so 3.05, and this one was 3.2. So that's our footing plan, and we're going to now work out the length of the footing. So we're minusing 0 0.3, minus 0. 0. Zero. That's right. We're going because that that we're going to B. Now we're going to C. We're going to be minusing zero. D. We're minusing zero point three. E. We're minusing zero point three. F. We're minusing zero point three. G is minusing zero because it's an internal corner, and the same with H. Now we can work out our length now. 
So you see, you have to be really systematic in your working out and have um, and, and go around because you can make mistakes easily. So our figures are going to be for A, 1.87. B's nice and easy, 1.83. C's nice and easy, 1.7. So this one is going to be 6.44. And then this one's going to be 6.62. And the next one's easy. So we just have, it's going to be five, what have we got there? I've got point five. 0.07. 5.07. Oh, that might be a different figure. That's uh, 5.07. And then 3.05, and then 3.3.2. Now we need um, we need to add these up to get the length. So when we add that up, we should get a figure of 29.78. So and then we come and do our volume. Volume is length times width times the depth, and that's going to be 29.78 times the width is 0 0.3 times the depth here of 0 0.32. Now I'm going to have to do the calcs on that because I saw an error in my own work. So here we have, um, we've got a, okay, so it's going to be, 29.78 times 0.3 times 0.32 is going to give me 2.858, or if we round it up, 9. Okay, and then we have to add 5% waste times by 1.05 times 1. 0.05 equals is 3.00 um, be 2 meters cubed. Now that is my volume, but our order is going to have to be 3.2 meters cubed. Okay, because the concrete rounding up. Thank you.